that wasn't quite what I expected. Anyway, right, let's see if we can get um, kind of in the right. Hello, everybody. Just trying to get this set up so that you can see what I'm doing, but you can't see my messy desk. Oh, well, that'll have to do. Right, one day I'm going to get this figured out. One day. One day. One day. Right, let me come around here and uh, just see what you guys can see. Hello, everybody. Ah, Bling Bling Park Crafter. Hello, finally. You got, you got, you managed to join on a live. That's great. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm very glad you've managed to join. I'm just trying to sort out my tablet to get my tablet working. Sorry about that, everyone. I don't know. I'm there. My Wi-Fi dropped out for some reason. Oh no! Now I can't come on my tablet. Can everybody hear me or not? Let me know if you can hear me. Um, let me know if you can hear me. Hear me, all right? Uh, right. I'm hoping everybody can hear me. Yeah. My um, my Wi-Fi has been a bit weird, so I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, just let me know if you can hear me okay if everything's all right you can see the desk hello um i'm just wondering about putting some more light on as well because it's looking a bit dark so let me just add another light oh there we is plug another light in there we go is that making things a bit brighter yeah i think it does maybe 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 not hi farm brizzy you can hear loud and clear that's good fantastic hi Des deborah as well uh fabulous right we'll just hold on and wait for some more people to come i'll bring all my bits in i just put it on a board so i didn't lose all my bits lots of bits today lots and lots and lots of bits cool you can hear me excellent excellent i don't know what happened there my my wi-fi decided to do a weird thing don't quite know what's going on there but uh yes uh good morning karen good to see you good to see you on um, good to see you indeed. Right, just bear with. I'm going to sharpen my pencil in it already. And oh dear, I'm throwing my pencil sharpener on the floor. It's not very helpful. Um, yes, this is an interesting card. I actually saw this card on Mixed Up Crafts channel, um, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. I've actually done a similar card to it. But it's just got one extra fold in it that's all it is so um yeah i think it's been around for a while but uh yeah i saw it on her channel and thought oh i'm gonna have to have a go with that one so uh yeah i shall show you in a minute and also coco rosa studio sent me some new stuff some new products so i'm very excited about what they sent me normally i order what i want like they you know give me an answer and i order what i want however this time around they've sent me some goodies and um yes they are amazing i'm very impressed so i'm going to take you through that in a minute let's just get a few more people on and then we will make a start um what are they gonna say yeah so this time round, they actually sent me they sent me dies um but they also sent me some papers and i'm really really pleased because i keep looking at their papers and thinking they look rather nice and so that's what we're using today. We're using Coco Rosa Studio papers because they are amazing. I actually really like them. I'm going to be doing a, I'm doing this card again, but as a tutorial uh, on Friday. I've already recorded it, done everything. Um, and I'm also doing a craft haul with it. So I'm doing a craft haul, but with a tutorial. I thought I'd do the two in one. Because sometimes craft tools can be a bit, meh, you know, you might not be into them, but you might want to see. And also, I always get asked, how did you make that card? So I thought, well, I'll just do it on the on the same video. So, um, yeah, so I'll show you that. Um, I'm going to quickly show you, while we're waiting for people to join us, I'm going to quickly show you what I got from Coco Rosa Studio. You'll see all this on the haul, but I just thought I'd quickly show you. Because um, I'm using some of the products today. So... Uh, this is the card we're doing so that's the front of it and this is one of the dies they sent me now i've used it slightly differently to how you're supposed to use it it should come out like that so you actually make like a little tree um and it comes with all the mats and layers 
which is fantastic. Now, I've never bought a die that cuts out everything for you because I'm just like, yeah, you know, what, I can do it. But obviously with difficult shapes like this, it's actually very useful. So all of these were cut out of the die. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I've actually used it as a little like a little flap. And then you open it up and inside you've got like an explosion, but you've got that crease down the middle, which I really like. So when it stands up, it looks really attractive. This was a coffee cup die they also sent me. And I really like this as well. I've just used some little peel off candy canes, um, stuck them onto the red uh, pattern paper and then just cut around them. Um, but yeah, really liked, really liked these papers, really liked these dies. So we're going to be using these papers again today. I'm going to take you through the pack in a minute. Um, hi, Carolina from the Netherlands. Um, yes, thank you, Karen. I really, just really like it. I love the way this tree works on the front. I just, oh my goodness. So let me quickly show you the dies before we start and then we'll go through the um i'll go through how you make this um so the dies they sent me were they sent me obviously the christmas tree die which is this one hi Ginny from the netherlands and hi edwina so they sent me this die here which you get your basic die and these are score lines these ones and then you also get all your mats and layers so these are all your that's like your mat that's your pattern and so for each of the sections you get a mat and a pattern and then you also get a little star as well and i really really liked this and i i, I don't normally do these sorts of dies at all but i was like oh, why have i never bought one of these dies <laughs> they make life so much easier i know some people are purists when it comes to dies but then re I, I was really impressed with this so that's what i've used to make that um die that was that tree on the front of the card here and I've also cut out what it should look like. So that's what it looks like when you first cut it out. And then you just like valley and mountain fold. And it makes a little tree. And then obviously you add your mats and layers. But I thought it was really cute. Hi Louise, how are you? You okay? I'm doing more, more Coco Rosa Studio dies, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, so that was one of the dies I got. I also got this die as well, which is a background die, which I can't wait to use. I'm thinking stained glass windows. I'm thinking shaker cards. Got quite a few ideas for this. Vellum with lights. I'm thinking of different things for this one and also i like this because it could be literally for anything it could be for wedding you could use it for birthday for male female literally that could be used for everything so i'm really i really want to use that at some point um and then i also got sent now i've got different ones on here this one which is a happy new year die but it cuts it out of the card and i haven't done it yet hi linda um i haven't actually done it yet oh and hi liz as well um but yeah, but I like the fact it cuts the Happy New Year out of the out of the actual card. You get these little star things it cuts out as well. Um, but then you would also have the Happy New Year to use on a card. So you've got like a two in one. So I'm quite excited to use that. This is the coffee cup um, die. And it came with a little thing saying cappuccino. And that's what I've used there. So in the center there, that's that coffee cup die there. And I've just kind of layered it up. So I've cut bits down, cut bits out, use different colors. But all of that there is is what the dies cut out. So I was impressed with that. This is an old this is leaf dies that I had last time. And then the other thing that I got that was it for the dies. And then the other thing that I got sent, which I was very excited about, was this paper pack. Oh my goodness, I love this paper pack so much. So we're going to be using these today. So I've actually used some of these papers on this card on my sample card. I love because they almost look 3D, the little cookies. Really nice. Really love it. Um, so I've used the candy canes and the little cookie paper on this one. And also the tree paper. This is all from that pack. It's really nice. And it's 160 GSM, so it's a good weight as well. And then today for the card, I'm going to be using this one here, the Ponsettia. because That's my favourite one out of all of them. And then the green snow one. But there's also like... Um, some craft ones as well uh there's all sorts a, a tartan one a snowflake one so yeah lots of different ones in the pack but i really like them i think they're really nice nice and vibrant they they've given me two codes this time around um and it'll be on the friday's video all the details will be on there but i'll just quickly tell you now in case you want to go and have a look so they've given me two codes first code you can use one or the other so you can either use iced 20 which will give you 20 percent off your offer your your order or you can use MAS, mass, as in like Christmas, which means you can get four products, but you only pay for three. 
So that's the two um, two different codes they've given me. So you use one or you use the other. So you either get 20% off or you go for four products for the price of three. Um, yeah, so I'll do that. But if you look on Friday's video, the code will be on the uh, screen. So if you get confused and I'll put it in the description of this video afterwards as well, after the, the live stream's finished. But yeah, I really liked it because it's, as I say, 160 GSM card stock. So it's a good weight. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's perfect. And I like them as well because they're matte. They're like a matte. They're not, sometimes you get papers and they're shiny, but then this is not. It's just a matte. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, Karen, same. I always wonder what their papers were like. Well, now they've sent me them and I am so impressed. And you know how you normally get a pack of papers and there's always one or two you're not that keen on. There's literally none in that pack that I'm not that keen on. I could literally use all of those. I was really impressed. I opened it and was like, oh my days. Oh my actual days. But there's literally none in here that I couldn't use. I think if I had, if I was pushed, my least favourite would be the snowman and the Christmas, Christmas Santa. But he's still really cute. I really like it. I think it's just a really nice, I like the mix. I like the fact they've gone for quite sophisticated and they've also got cute. And they've got a nice mix of colours, got a nice mix of patterns. The patterns are not too big and they're not too small. I re I'm really impressed. I, I'm, I'm very tempted to go and actually order some with my own money, if I'm honest, because uh, I'm, I'm very, I'm very impressed. Um, no, these aren't Antonio makes. These are Coca Rosa Studio. So CocoRosaStudio.com. I'll put all the links in the description below after the live stream. Um, but these are six by six, but I think they do 12 by 12 as well. I'm not sure if they do it in all the designs, but they definitely do six by six. And I think they do do some that are 12 by 12. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed. I want more of these. I do want more of these. I love them. I think they're really, really nice. I, just, I kind of wish this pack was bigger. <laughs> so this is actually got 12 different designs and you get two sheets of each design. I, I would happily have a few of these pads. <laughs> I really would. And the thing is, well, I'm not just saying this because they've sent it to me. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I love these papers. I absolutely love these papers. So, yeah, there we go. Right. I suppose we better get on with the card, haven't we? Let me move my, let me move all my patterny bits off to one side. Um, this wasn't, this was, this uh, greeting here as well was from, um, uh, it was a magazine from, last year or the year before can't remember but it matches perfectly so i thought right we're going to use that right okay let me put my other bits out of the way and we will start with these ones so for your base card you're gonna need two pieces that are six by twelve you do not want them to be too thick when I did this one, both of my base cards were about 300 GSM and it's very chunky. I mean, this is look at how wadgy that is. And also because my mat on this was also quite wadgy. I think my mat, I used this like single sided pearlized card and that was easily a 300, I would say, or a 280. It was quite far, you know, and then obviously you got 160 for your um, patterns and all the layers you've got. So you do need to keep it on the low side. So this time around, I've tried to do it um, a bit a bit thinner. So my base cards are 200 GSM this time around. So hopefully we're not going to end up with, you know, too much wadge. But we will see. So you need to bring your scoreboard into play. And then on one of your pieces, your 6 by 12s you're just going to score it every three inches. So you're going to score it at three inches, at six inches, and at nine inches. Okay, and so this one, you're going to have a valley, a mountain, and a valley. So I'm just going to do my folds. Valley, mountain, valley. Valley, mountain. <laughs> yes, wadgy is a technical term, Linda, definitely. Definitely a technical term. Yeah. Definitely a technical term. Right, there we go. So that's my... I'm just wondering, actually, if I should put that on the inside. No, I'm going to leave that on the outside. I'm going to leave that on the outside. Um, this is actually a card that I had, I was given, and it's, like, double-sided. So, um, right, so I'm going to leave that to one side. And then we're going to bring the next one in. 
uh, and this one is the same again so you're going to score at three six and nine but then we're going to do some extra things to this one so three six and nine like that hi nola glad you could join us um right so that's three six and nine and then i'm going to bring my cork board in and my ruler and so what you're going to do is you're going to score from the bottom of the six inch line up to the top left hand corner so from the bottom of the, the line up to the top left hand corner like that and then you're going to do the opposite so you're going to score from the top of the um six six inch line and you're going to score down to the bottom left hand corner so you're basically doing a cross in the middle and your two lines should dissect that middle line if they're slightly off you'll soon find out when you when you get to fold it you'll soon find out <laughs> then you can do exactly the same on this one so you can top of the six uh, six inch line and you're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and then you're going to go from the top top right hand corner to the bottom of the six inch line so that's going to go down like that there we go. So you end up with two crosses. I don't know if you how well you can see those, but anyway, there are two crosses there. Hopefully you can just about make them out. In a minute, you'll see them better when I start folding them. Okay, now I made a bit of a mistake on my little video tutorial that I did. So you guys will have the heads up because um, you guys will... Um, bear with a second. Um... Bear with, bear with. Um, yeah, so you guys will have already found out um, what to do. Just bear with me. I'm just dealing with some people. There we go. Right. Um, so what you want to do is you're going to, on your straight down lines, you want to do um, mountain folds. So we're going to do some mountain folds. There we go. Mountain fold. Mountain fold, mountain fold. There we go, like that. Doing it with all mountains. And then on your diagonal lines, these are going to be valleys. Now, what I would do is don't just go with your line, actually take your corner up to that corner and make sure it really does, it is sort of square, and then just crease it. So your line will help you, but if you haven't scored it exactly right, that will help you if you actually guide it. Um, and then we're going to do the same on this side. So here, if I just followed my line, I would overshoot the edge of the card. So I'm actually going to hold it into position and just kind of oh, tell it where it needs to be. Because obviously my score lines were slightly out. So same here. This one's slightly out. So I'm just going to oh, oh, hello. Tell it what to do. Come on, Mr. Card. You need to obey. There we go. Yeah, so my score lines were a little bit off there. There you go. Do this one here as well. So you should end up with that, hopefully. And then all you need to do is just kind of squidge up one side, fold it nice and flat, and then just do a last kind of burnish just to make sure it's definitely sitting flat. Because again, they're not quite right. So we're just going to give it another quick crease, another quick burnish. This is why having a... Um, thank you, Louise. Yeah, I just did the same. Blooming trolls. I hate it when people do that. Hi, Shelley. It's all right. You're late. You're not that late. We've only just started, so don't worry. Um, yeah, so this is why using a thinner card is a good idea. Now, I've just seen that this is not straight. This is slightly off. It's not actually... How it should be so i'm going to try i'm going to attempt to teach it where it needs to be but yeah no i don't know about that um right so shelly we're doing this card here which is a folded explosion card i actually saw it on mixed up crafts channel um i've seen the similar well i've done similar without the center line so i've done this exact card but without that center line um and i've seen other people do it but it just it, i just really liked it so i thought i'd have a go um, right, so then this side here, we're going to do the same again. So I'm just going to fold that in. Yeah, it's a bit wonky today. 
it's a bit wonky but i've had like four and a half hours sleep so you know i think wonky is good really to be fair <laughs> anyway you can see there how wonky it is on the top there i've got a little bit of a gap there but whatever if i can try and correct it i will but i don't know if that's going to work no it doesn't want to it doesn't want to behave itself so it's fine okay so we end up with so we've got that now um I'm just trying to think which is the best thing to do next. I think the best thing to do next is to do the front of the outside. So on the outside card, you, this is a six by, both of them are six by 12, Shelley, just because you're, you missed the beginning of it. They're both six by 12. This one's scored at three, six and nine. This one's also scored three, six and nine. And then I've done diagonals that um, go across those, the three and the nine inch lines. Right, so on this one, you're going to need uh four mat layers that are two and three quarters by five and three quarters and you're also going to need two pattern layers that are two and a half by five and a half and they're going to go on the front there so um yes louise exactly handmade with love no perfection that's what I'd, yeah exactly and um, the other thing as well is um uh, i used to do a craft class in someone's house and uh, it was great, but we used to have a laugh because we always used to say, you get the card you deserve. So if people weren't listening, <laughs> you, got, you get the card you deserve. Hi, Sweet Bee in Massachusetts. Morning, morning. Um, right, so let me bring in my matte layers. So there's my matte, my matte layers. So they're going to go on the front there and there. Now, um, oh yeah, so yeah, hang on. So if you wanted to do what I did with the Christmas tree, so on the front here, um, you see I've got the Christmas tree on the front here. I would normally stick, because obviously this is like a tab. So basically what I did was I took this die and I cut it down here and down here. So this was spare. And then at that I acted like a tab. I just chopped a little bit off here and here so it didn't poke, you couldn't see it from inside the card. But then I just bent this round and then that stuck on the inside of the card. So that's what gave me the Christmas tree. Now, what I would normally have done is I would normally stick it behind the matte and pattern layer. But I suddenly thought, hang on a second, I'm, too, I'm sticking two base cards together so I can sandwich it. So I've actually sandwiched that in between the outer base card and the inner base card, which means you can go ahead and decorate the front. So I was really, I was glad that I thought about that because then on the front here, you then don't end up with a little tiny bit of card showing, you know, just before you get to the, the map and pattern. So yeah, so I was, but you just have to make sure you cut a little bit off so that then here, you don't then see a little bit of Christmas tree. So just make sure that you do that. Um, right, so enough waffling. So I'm going to go ahead now and stick these two on the front. Let me just make sure they're the right way up. I love these papers so much. Oh yeah, that's that follows on. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick these on the front. Bear with, bear with. How is everyone getting on while I stick down? We can have a chat while I'm sticking bits of uh, paper down. How is everybody? Is everybody okay? How are you? How's your week been? Well, last week, isn't it really? How was your last week? Week since I've seen you. How's that been? <laughs> Let me know. Oh, okay, larger dies than you do in Australia. Okay, I'm sure you probably can get them in Australia. It's just a case of finding the, the people who can who do them and who will ship to you. Nolo, I think that's probably the case. I know Coco Rosa Studio will ship to everywhere, I think. I think they pretty much ship worldwide. Um, because they're based in China, I believe. It's China. Um, but I'm pretty sure they ship pretty much everywhere. So if you try and go if you go on to um cocorosastudio.com they i think they shipped i think they ship dyes everywhere and they do all kinds of different dyes um so yeah right so that's that one done that's the front done and then um, if we go ahead and do the um the inside piece hi sparkly lady have you just joined us sparkly lady if you have i'll show you which what we're doing so we're doing this card here which is um, a folded explosion card. So you open it up and that's how it stands. And they've got a little thing popped up on the front there. I chose to put little Christmas trees on. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, 
Louise, you're still behind making Christmas tree. Oh, your tree and decorations are up. My goodness. See, I haven't got as far as that. I've got a star in front of me here, which stays here all year because it's like a light. It's on the windowsill in front of me. Um, and then when it gets to Christmas, I just literally flip it round so the light faces out the star and um, and move the um, the neck curtain out of the way. Um, that's what I do for Christmas. And then I've got a little ball outside that I just have to plug in. What have we just done with my bits and bobs? Oh, they're there. Um, so yeah, that's what I do for Christmas, but I haven't done any of it yet. Um, right, let's have a look. Uh, Karen doing great, getting ready to decorate for Christmas. Fantastic. Uh, Linda, your dog and I had a fallout because she chewed up the remote control for the TV sound, but oh dear. You're not surprised you fell out with her. Goodness gracious. I was say my kitten's all up, you know, all up doing all kinds of things right now. Right, so these triangles, let me show you how I did these triangles. So this is what I've worked out. And obviously, if you want to do this differently, you can. But this is the best way I've worked out. So for these big triangles here, I've got four big triangles here. And so for these, I used a mat card that was five and a half by five and a half and a pattern card that's five by five. And then what I did was I then cut that into, well, I'm about to actually, I haven't done it yet. You then cut it into four diagonally. So across there and down there. And the same with the pattern piece. So I've done that rather than cutting out triangles or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and then I'm going to stick them together. Uh, yeah, if we do that first and then we'll come back to the other triangles because they're slightly smaller. Is that over here? Oh, but that does need, I need to move my tablet otherwise I can't get to my guillotine. Um, hi, Chunky Bird. I'm glad you managed to make it to a live. I need to not try not to cut my lead. That would be a bad idea. There we go. This is plugged in. Um, let's have a look. All this year's cards made to post. Wow. I haven't got that far. I don't quite well with Christmas presents. Um, um, I've got quite a lot of birthdays and Christmases around this time of year. So I've managed to get half of the birthday and Christmas presents um, posted, you know, made and posted, not made, but you know what I mean, bought and posted. Um, but yeah, I I'm still haven't even started doing Christmas, like writing Christmas cards. I've got obviously got loads, but I haven't started, you know, writing them yet. Sweet pea, sunny, cool morning here. Oh, your Thanksgiving cookies. They do sound nice, I have to say. Thanksgiving cookies sound like a very good idea. Um, if you were nearer, if you were part of a craft class near me, I would be coming and asking for some craft, for some Thanksgiving cookies, definitely. They sound very nice. Um, Shelley, you made all your Christmas cards a while ago. Just need to make special cards. Um, yeah, this would be a good one for um, a special one, definitely. Definitely, definitely uh sally hello hello i'm making a folded explosion card so i'll show you in a moment so that's all those pieces cut out i'm going to leave my tablet over there um hi is it gizlane morgan um you wanted dimensions yeah i'm going to give you dimensions in a moment uh right so let me backtrack again for those of you just joined hi sally and is, is it i don't know how you pronounce your name giz giz lane i'm not sure anyway um hello from france from france um we're doing this card which is a folded explosion card it folds down to be six by six um and so far i've just used two pieces of base card that are six by twelve um i'll put all the dimensions in the description below towards the end like after i've finished um okay deborah yep yeah. You can leave, yeah, uh, catch up on Friday. You'll have the actual tutorial without all the chat on Friday. So, um, yeah, we'll see. You yeah. know, join us then. Well, not join me, but you know what I mean. Catch up then. Um, yeah, so that's what we've got. So, I'm going to put all the dimensions below. So, those of you who just joined, you need dimensions. Um, unless you're crafting along now, I will put them in the description below and then, yeah, you'll see them in there. Right, let's go ahead now and stick these patterns onto these mats. Perhaps I can quickly run through it while I'm sticking these down. So I've used two base pieces that are 6 by 12. Both of them are scored at 3, 6 and 9 inches. Um, and then one of them I've gone on and also scored across the two 
di like basically diagonally. So both squares that you end up on either side are scored diagonally across. Um, and okay, so I'm not very good at speaking French, but I can kind of work out what you're saying. Uh, something about thank you for the dimensions, I think. And then anybody who speaks French and can um, translate, please go ahead because I can kind of speak French, but I'm not that good. If it was German, I'd be a lot be <laughs> better. My German's a lot better than my French is. Um, but yeah, I will put the dimensions below so you will be able to see them. So after the video's gone up, after we finish the live stream, I shall go and add a proper thumbnail onto it and I shall also put the dimensions on and put more of a description on. I meant to do it last night, but I kind of ran out of time. It was a bit of a busy day. Um, yes, Sweet Pie, I'd love to have some. I would love to have some, I have to say. Whereabouts are you based, Sweet Pie? Are you in England? I don't think you are. I think you're in America. Was it America you were? I, get, I lose track of who's where. Um, but yeah. Right, I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. The glitter paper that I'm using is uh, an old Paper Mania um, do craft pack. But I do like this glitter paper because it's um it's non-shed, but it is really glittery. It's not that kind of dull glittery non-shed that you can get sometimes. So I do like this, and it's not that thick as well. Uh yeah, Mar Mariana, if you haven't got the tree die, then um you can. I uh, well, what I would probably do is I would go. Do you remember that? I did, a, I did a, a live, and I haven't got the card here to hand, I don't think, have I? Oh, no, I have. It's behind me. Let me quickly grab it. Um, I did a tree, this one, this pop-up tree card. So this is what I did, and then you opened it up. So this tree, I didn't use a die for this. All I did was I went online. I googled Christmas tree template, I think. Um, and then what I did was I cut it out by hand. Um, so you could do the same again. So if you did this again and then just cut out, we well, didn't even have to, I mean, you could cut the whole tree out, but you could just cut out half the tree and then just have a tab on the other side. Um, and then just do the same as what I did, before, you know, with that. So I actually just did it so it stuck on the inside. So you could do that. Um, that would work if you haven't got if you if you don't want to get the die and you haven't got a tree die. I do like that die though. I would recommend if you you know it is a very useful die and I don't think it's that expensive. I'm not sure how much it is exactly, but it's not that bad. Um, can I write down the dimensions of the papers? Yes, I can. I will be writing them um, in the in the description below. Okay, so after this has gone um, up, I'll uh, after we finish the live stream, I shall go ahead and write those in the description. Right, so these are going to go in here. Now, we need to remember, do not stick these ones down yet because you need to have a little flappy bit to stick your pop-up bit. So on my original one, I had the coffee cup, which stood proud when you open it up. And on this one, I'm actually going to have a sentiment. So you don't want to stick those down. And it's very easy to get ahead of yourself and end up sticking them down. So I'm going to leave those off to one side. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick these two on. So I'm going to do that now. Thank you, Sally. Yes, I have had them done again. <laughs> My friend, she did them with um, she did them with a well, the, the same kind of nude colour I'd had previously, and then we just put like an iridescent coat over the top because I sort of fancied it's almost Christmas. I fancied an iridescenty, iridescenty one. So yeah, I had, I did that. The only problem is they grow out so quick. Like this is now a week, and already I can see them growing out my nails just grow so quickly so I think it's going to be a, a fortnightly a fortnightly thing I might try and stretch it to three weeks but I think I could be pushing it um thank you yeah um yeah that's true I mean you can always get it in time for next year that's that's the other thing because I actually as I say I literally received that those dies um when would it have been end of last week and I was thinking to myself, I wish I'd had this tree die earlier on. I really do, because this it's just so nice. It took about just under two weeks for it to come. In fact, I think it was like a week and a half 
they took. So that wasn't bad. Um, uh, can I find the tree card on YouTube? Yes, you can, Rita. If you go into my... If you go into my channel and look under lives, live streams, um, it might just be on the feed, actually, but def it's definitely in the live stream. It was literally, it might have been last week. It was either last Tuesday that I did it or the Tuesday before. It was literally within the last fortnight that I did that tree. And I literally did the thumbnail for it only last night. And it was called a pop-up Christmas tree card. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, if you go on there, that'll be on. Um, and I did a pop-up star card, which is exactly the same fold. It's just that I used a star instead of a Christmas tree. So, um, yeah, go and have a look for that. Uh, right, so we've done that bit. So now we need to do, well, actually, I'm going to stick it into the card first. And then we're going to do all the little triangles. Because otherwise it can get a bit confusing. I mean, you can stick triangles down now. Mm, no, I'll stick it in first, I think. Right, so if you are going to have anything um, coming out here, so the Christmas tree or whatever, now is the time to do it. So if I was using this, what I would do, I would cut down here like that. So you've got half a Christmas tree and like a little tab. And then this, so imagine all this, this bit here is not there. Okay, so it's just this, these two pieces. This would then go like that. And this bit would stick behind there. And you just need to cut up that section there. So then you don't see it when you put the other piece on. Okay, so that's how you do, you'll see all that in the video, the actual video video. Um, right, so I'm not doing that this time around. I'm just going to literally stick this straight on. So what we're going to need to do is I'm going to start with this end. You also might find that you need to trim a little bit off these edges. Just see it, put it on and, and, and see. But you might find that when you stick it on, when it all folds down, you end up with bits sticking out. This one looks okay. I haven't got any, I've got a little bit of an edge there, but it's nothing I can't deal with really. So that's fine. So I'm just going to put some glue on this end here. You need to use either glue or red tape, I would say. Something strong. I'm just going to put a little bit on here. Like this. There we go. I like using wet glue because it gives you extra time to um, get it in place. Right, and then what you want to do is make sure that middle line lines up with the middle line. And this bit here all lines up on this end. So you want it all nice and lined up. And if you just lay it out flat, you can get it so that it, it's really properly lined up. There we go. So that's that side stuck and then we're going to do the middle section so we're going to flip this back and i'm going to put glue all over that square section there i'm literally going to make sure i cover that whole square i'm going to do it sort of as two triangles so i'm just going to go down here up here just cover it in glue and that's going to stick to this middle bit here and so you can do it flat and you can do it standing up. Oh, I'm off. I've gone off. I've moved my card. So I need to just make sure that definitely fits properly. Oh, like that. There we go. That's it. And then just fold it flat to make sure it's definitely sitting properly. Yeah, the star card, Spiky Lady. I really was quite impressed with that, actually. <laughs> you know, when you make a card, you're like, oh. That turned out better than I expected. Well, that was one of those cards. <laughs> it was definitely one of those cards. Right, and then we're going to put glue on the back of this last large triangle. So, stick this down. There we go. And again, just kind of lay it flat and kind of fold it at the same time. Just make sure it's straight. And your best just to kind of fold it as it's going to be. And then... Um, that's that. Uh, oh, yeah, Sally. Yeah, I have to trim mine regularly because they just get too long. Right. So that's that bit done. So it's already looking quite good. Now, on my original, I used white base card and it meant that I ended up with big white sections here. OK, so I've actually decided not to bother decorating those. 
but you might decide you want to. Now this time around I thought I'm going to fill those bits in and then I've just realised that because I am using double sided pattern card I've actually already got pattern there so actually I could probably get away with not adding um, more matte layers in there, matte and pattern layers, uh, but I have really cut them out so there you go. Right so for these these triangles you will need um, two matte pieces that are five by five and two pattern pieces that are four and a half by four and a half and what you want to do is she says grabbing her piece of card you want to take your two matte pieces i've already cut some up already just to save you looking at me doing them so on your matte piece what i would advise you do if you turn it over is draw a line from corner to corner both sides then find halfway which is two and a half and find halfway draw a line find halfway find halfway draw a line that gives you eights and if you do exactly the same on this one so obviously and then it, it'll be two and a quarter because this is four and a half so two and a quarter two and a quarter two and a quarter two and a quarter do a cross and then you can then just cut that out okay so then when you cut those out you're going to end up with a whole load of triangles and you just mat and layer them so I have already done that. That was for my extra ones because I thought I was going to need them, but actually now I don't think I'm going to going to need them. So I've done two patterns. I've done this pattern, which is going to be for um, well, it was going to be for here, but I think I'm going to use it in here. I think I'm going to use it in the dark. Oh, sorry. I think I'm going to use it in the dark section, and then I think I'm going to use the light green for here. So I'm going to go ahead now and stick all of these down. So this is the bit that takes the time. I've tried to save time for you guys. You're going to sit and watch me stick in a shed load of triangles down. So I did load it off camera. Um, but I just thought I'd show you how I how I did it. So these are going to go in here. And you should find that your triangles are quite a nice size and fit relatively nicely and with a bit of a border. Hopefully. So we're going to go ahead and stick these down. Ooh. Right. Stick these down, stick these down. There we go. My brain has gone blank. I was going to ask everybody a question. I can't what I was going to ask now. There we go. I like you, Nola. I'm feeling very tired. <laughs> very tired. Indeed. Nothing unusual there. There we go. Oh, I know what I was going to ask you all. When you get a die and it has, you know, like, so with that Christmas tree die, you have all the pieces all kind of, they're all stuck together and they've got little metal burrs in between each one, sticking them all together. And obviously you kind of snap them apart. How do you get rid of your metal burrs? Because I've tried to use pliers and I've tried to use like wire cutter type things as well. But I've got some burrs I just cannot get off. And I'm just wondering what do people use to get there. So let me show you what I mean. So like on this one, for example, I've got, oh, I managed to get most of them off. But you know the little metal bits you get here? And they attach, so they're all kind of stuck together. What do you use to get rid of your metal burrs on dies? Let me know in the comments what you use. Because I am a bit stuck. I've got a few that I can't get the burrs off. And I've used all my usual things, pliers, clippers. But I don't know what else to use now. And they're kind of in awkward places as well. So I'm not really sure what I can do next. What I can try next. Oh. Right, so let's just turn these the other way around. I'm hoping I'm not missing any comments. I don't think I am. There's nothing happening in the comments box, but oh, there we go. Louise, you've commented. Fantastic. Uh, mini wire cutters. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I might have to get some mini ones. I did buy some, but they're not quite. Like I can't get into the gap I need to get into. Oh, mini ones, they sound good. Uh, I'll have to have a look out for those. 
Um, sandpaper. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm yeah. See, I use pliers and twist it off normally. But that's the thing. If it's not big enough, if it's not a big enough bit to get off. But yeah, metal a metal file sounds like a good idea. I think I I think my husband has one of those. Um, that sounds like a plan. Sandpaper. I think if I try to use sandpaper, I'd probably. <laughs> We end up with the metal bit going through the sandpaper. I know what I'm like. Yeah, a metal file, file I think, is going to be the answer. It's just because I noticed that when I was doing the Christmas tree, there's certain burrs I can't get off because they're kind of right in the corner. And so I end up just cutting the card without, you know, getting them off. But obviously it leaves little in, indents, doesn't it, on your, on your card. And I didn't really want to have indents on my card. So yeah right i'm going to go ahead and stick these on uh hi zanya um yes i don't know what i was going to say my brain's like nope sorry not helping you now right sticking these bits are tricky you could stick these before you start before you you know put everything together but i like to know where my board how big my border is so apologies if you can't see me sticking them in you'll see them at the end you'll probably do put my ring light on because it's really quite dark here it's quite dark and gray but um amazon oh diamond needle fire oh yes right okay i'll have to have a look for those definitely have to have a look for those because that would be a good idea i, do, I definitely need something like that Mostly I can I can usually get them off, but just every now and then there's that one die that just doesn't want to, you know, it doesn't want to, doesn't want to cooperate. So, I shall have a look on Amazon. I should try and do it before my Amazon Prime run, runs out. My free trial that I had. Um, right, that's up there. Hi, um, the Christmas tree die, um, you can get it from cocorosastudio.com. So I'll put a, um, I'm going to print something off, I think, so I can just show you guys on the, on the screen. Um, I'm going to put it in the description below after the video has gone up. Um, but it's cocorosastudio.com. And if you use my code, which is iced20, you can get 20% off your order. Or if you'd rather... You can use code MAS, like mass, like Christmas, the end of Christmas. Um, and if you use mass, then that means you can buy four items and only pay for three. Four items for the price of three. Um, so those two codes on cocorosastudio.com. Uh, but yeah, um, that's where I got that Christmas tree die from. I really like it. Um, I have to say I would, I would definitely go and buy more dies that are similar now now that i've seen that um i just kind of the reason why i usually hold back i'm usually like oh i can do it i can sort out my own layers i don't have to have a die that does it for me but actually when it comes to difficult shapes like that one it's just so much easier it really is um because the other thing as well is i don't really like having that kind of die if i'm using it for videos because i know that some of you guys don't have them but I know that Cocorosa Studio dies tend to be a very good price. Um, and I know they cut well. So because of that, I'm quite happy to, you know, promote their dies because they are really good. I've not had any problems anyway. I know, you know, sometimes people have problems with cutting, especially like intricate dies and stuff like that. But there's usually a way around. And as I said, I have not had the problem. I've not had that problem with them. Um, but yeah. I'm definitely looking up those nail file things though. I need to do a little bit of an order, so I think I should be doing that. Right, so this is oh I'll stick this on here. So that those two codes I've mentioned, they are valid from all the way through November, December, and into january i'm not sure if it's the beginning of january or if it's the end of january but they're definitely valid into january as well but i'll put all the details below anyway 
Right, so that's the card so far. So now what I want to do is I wanted to add, um, I was going to add a little greeting in the middle. So let me get my greeting out. So here's my greeting. I've got this Christmas wishes for you greeting, which I got from a magazine um, a while ago. Um, so that's going to be in the middle there like that. I was thinking, I, I think I will actually, I'm going to mat and lay, I'm just going to mat it because I feel like it needs matting. I wasn't going to, but now looking at it, I think it does need matting. So I need to get some more glitter card out. Um, let's get another, is that going to fit on there? Yes, it is good. Fabulous. Right, let's just stick this down. Um, stick this onto here. The other thing as well is obviously the back of the card, because that's where you're going to write. And I'm just thinking we might need to do that before we start sticking our middle bit down, just because it's going to make it a little bit flatter to stick the layers down if you do it before you put your middle section on. I had great fun cutting this out this morning. My fussy cutting skills are not the best. As it is but particularly not when i haven't had much sleep but anywho never mind right so that's that and i'm just going to cut round it in fact i'm going to let that dry a second because if i try to cut around that i'm probably going to end up moving it right so while that's drying let's do the back so on the back of here um we're going to put uh, another two in fact actually i did cut out two matte layers um but because my matte layers are white, there's sort of no point me cutting out a white glitter matte layer and then cutting out a normal white layer. So I'm just going to cut out two matte layers and then stamp one of them so then I can write the greeting on the back. So these two will be the same as we had for the front, which is two and three quarter by five and three quarter. If you've got a coloured matte, then your white pieces that go on top are going to be two and a half by five and a half. So I'm just going to get um, some white card and cut out my panels with me thinking I was all super organized and there's still bits I haven't got right so two and three quarters that's not the right size right, let me get another piece bear with bear with oops right two and three quarters by five and three quarters two and three quarters is there so you can see my arm because the guillotine is just off to the right so there's one and there is the other and then i just need to stamp it i'm a bit of a lazy a lazy crafter when it comes to this so in my little stamp thing positioning whatever it's called i've, I've just i just keep a couple of stamps in here or three I keep a birthday, two birthday ones and a Christmas. So I'm just going to use this. It's actually a bit big, that one is. Let me just find a different one then. Bother. My plan has been thwarted. Um, right, let's have a look. I've got these ones. Before anybody asks where these ones are from, I don't know. But I think they were a freebie with a magazine. I like the Have Yourself a Merry Christmas. So let's use that one. So let's just plonk this on here like that so I think that's kind of straight and then shut the door and then stamp it up with some Versafine onyx black I love my onyx black it's very good I got this from Amazon I think I think it was Amazon there we go oh hello there we go right Oopsie daisy, I'm knocking everything over. James C. Creates, Christmas is sorted, that's good. Oh wow, you're well organised, you are. Goodness me, I wish I'd done that. I mean, I've done I've done quite well with Christmas presents, but it's just cards. I've, I'm, yeah, I haven't, I've made them. I've definitely made them. I've made lots, I've got drawers full of them, but it's just the... <laughs> It's just the um, it's just the actual writing of them and the posting of them. But I need to do it soon. So, right there we go. There's that one done. Um, 
Right, okay, so let's bring this back in, turn it over, and on the back, we're going to have our, in fact, I'm going to do that on that side, I think, and I'm going to have that on that side. Mm. Where am I going to go that way around? Let's have a look. I don't know which way around, and I'm going to go that way, I think. Right, let's stick these down. Use a bit of glue. Stick them down. There we go. Let me know as well if there's any cards you want me to do uh, in the next few weeks. I've got a few scheduled already, but um, yeah, let me know because I can always jig things around. If there's anything, or even boxes, like if there's any kind of gift box you want me to do or something you've seen elsewhere, you want to see my spin on it or whatever. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you want and I will do my very best. I'm not going to promise I can, but I will do my very best to do what I can do. Um, I've still got a few requests on my little request list from before, but I'm working my way through slowly. Right, so there's my little bit on the back. Have a very Merry Christmas. Now on this one, I think I'm going to end up doing a, uh, a belly band across it. Um, just because, yeah, I made a poncettia that was supposed to go on the front and it will go on the front. So this is the poncettia. These are actually the, the dies from Coco Rosa Studio. So it's this leaf set here, this leaf set. So it's this one here, the, the holly. Um, so that's the little leaves, which I really love. I love the way they've embossed as well. And on the mirror, they look amazing. Um, and then this, um, Oh, I've got silicon glue all over me, Ponset here. Um, this back one is actually a flower dye, which again is a Coco Rosa Studio, which they sent me in August. And then these these two here were from a Ponsettia dye set from Ducrafts. So I've just put more together. And then the little um, gems in the middle are from Lucy Abrams Shop. I love Lucy's shop. I literally don't go to where else to buy gems anymore. Um, and it was this set, which is uh, Pearls, the gold mix. And they come like that and they're literally all different sizes and shapes and you know not shapes but all different sizes and um i really like them i just think they're beautiful because they're so nice and gold they're not just a little bit you know they're really metallic gold so yeah so that's my little poncettia so that's going to go on the front and i'm going to put it on a belly band so you just slide it off um yeah oh you've made 10 of the star fold sally goodness me wow <laughs> well you done well you've done very well right let's cut this out now goodness gracious um sweet pea you're gonna give this a go yeah see i made the single explosion before as well and then i saw this one i was like oh that's a bit different i quite like that um right my dodgy cutting skills are coming into play now let me just oh there we go who else is to us? Yvonne. Uh, Late to live. What die set have you used? Love the cup. Okay, so the die set for the cup is this one. This is from cocorosastudio.com. Um, and it's a saucer with a teacup with a little froth and whatever. It comes with a little spoon and the word cappuccino. Uh, really nice die set. It cuts out really nice. And if you use my code ICED20, you get 20% off your order. Or if you want, you can use the code MAS. And that means you can buy four things, four items for the price of three items. So you can basically get one free. Um, so you can use one of those codes, one or the other. Um, I'll put all the details and the links and whatever in the description below after I finish the live stream. Um, yeah, but it's it's uh, cocorosastudio.com is the name of the company. Um, and that's the same for that Christmas tree if you're late to the live you won't have seen it so there's a christmas tree die as well which i'll show you in a moment when i've finished um but that those that poncettia i was just showing you the back um flower and also the holly leaves they were also from coco rosa studio um they've got quite a lot of good dyes on there uh, there will be a tutorial for this coming out on friday and i've also doing the craft haul so i'm going to show you through their papers, their dyes, etc. Um, but I thought I would do a little tutorial as part of the craft haul because it's always nice to see 
how you, someone's made the card. So that's why I've done that. Whoops. Oh, oh dear. It's not the best in the world, but it's also not the worst. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Quite like that with the border. Um, Right, where are we? Uh, Good morning, Susie from Illinois. Uh, Sweet pea, you don't have any die cutting machines. Oh, you cut everything by hand. Wow. My goodness. Bow down to you. You used to cut everything by hand. I just couldn't do it. I, just, I literally just couldn't do it. I couldn't cut everything by hand. I'm terrible at die cutting. Uh, not die cutting. I'm terrible at like cutting, cutting. Right. So for whatever you're putting in the middle, you will need two little off cuts. So I'm just using one inch by one inch squares. It really depends on how big your centre thing is. Um, so this isn't, you know, that big. So that's going to be fine. Uh, with a little half inch but depending on what you want I mean I just use a little off cut one inch by one inch and I scored it halfway at half an inch so you end up folding it and you have a little hinge and you if you've seen any of my videos you'll know that I use this a lot um right so what we're going to do now is I'm going to get my glue you can use red tape if you want but for this bit of the proceedings I prefer to use wet glue and we're going to put glue just on the one side of your little tab and then you're going to turn it around this is my glue this is my folded edge and we're going to just try and line up that folded edge with the folded edge in the middle of your card and try and get it obviously central which it pretty much is so you end up with a little tab that sticks out like that okay so hopefully you can see that little tab and then you're going to get the other one and you're going to do exactly the same but have it facing the other way so we're going to put a little bit of glue on this side here, like that. Oops. And then take our card and then again line up that folded edge with the folded edge of the other hinge. Stick the two together so they kind of face each other. And then when you let go, you end up with that. So hopefully you can see that little sort of cross thing. Okay, and then on the front here you're going to stick your greeting but before you do that we can go ahead and put the triangles on so the two triangles that we'd left off earlier we can go ahead now and stick those on there so i'm going to go ahead and stick those down uh your name is mil milame is that milame is that how you pronounce your name i'm not very good with pronunciations as all of those in arkansas will know <laughs> Um, your English is better than my French, put it that way. Uh, your English is better than whatever language you speak, I'm sure. The only language that I'm reasonable, well, I can speak a little bit of, is German. So your English is a lot better than I can manage. So <laughs> that's all I can say. You, you're doing very well. <laughs> I just hope you could understand me. Because I do talk quite fast sometimes. Right, let's stick this down. Stick this down here, like that. And then we're going to stick this one on the other side. I am loving these papers. I'm actually loving these papers. Especially this Ponsetti one. It's so beautiful. I love the colours. I love the mix of pink and red and teal and, oh my goodness, green and... Oh, so nice. Right, stick this down. Just open my little tabby bits up again. There we go. So that's your middle bit in. And then you can use wet glue to stick your middle bit down, but I'm actually going to go ahead and use red tape. Um, so let's just use a little bit of red tape. And I just want an inch worth about that. And another inch worth. Uh, about that. There we go. Oops. Ah! Oh dear. Put my tape on the floor. And then we're going to put red tape on these two tabs, on the top of these two tabs. So red tape there and red tape there. And then all we're going to do is I'm just going to peel off the backing here and then take my greeting and then just stick it down but you just got to make sure that obviously it doesn't do that your little tab bits open up as you stick it down oh that's not quite 
Okay, it's a little bit higher than I wanted it to be, but that's fine. I'd rather it higher than too low. So that's fine. And you've also got to make sure that whatever it is clears that fold line. So that only just clears it. Oh, that's a bit tight. That's a bit tight. But I don't think I can move it now because it's red tape. Oh, let me see. I need to move that. Oh no, I've just torn me. I've just torn me tab off. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, okay. When things go wrong. Crafting live. Uh, right, so let's just take this off. My glue is still wet, so it's just popped straight out. And we're going to go again. Woohoo! So I'm going to cut out another little tab. The joys, the joys, the joys. Right, let me cut out. Um, hi, Rita. Yeah, don't worry. You can yeah watch back. And also, as I, as I was saying to the others, I um, have done a video for this already. It's coming out on Friday. So if you want to see the video, you don't want to see all the chat, then just have a look on uh, Friday. And this video will be up. Um, well, the tutorial for this will be up. Uh, slightly different. I try and do something slightly different in my tutorials as I do in the live. Than I do in the live just to you know mix it up a little bit and also for those of you who already seen the live then there's little extra bits in the tutorial that you won't have seen so I'll try and mix it up a little bit um right let me start again with my tabs deary me honestly right, I'm going to glue this down again but I'm going to have to glue it on top of my uh pattern paper which I didn't really want to do which is the whole point of waiting for putting that on but anyway Best laid plans and all that. I'm going to use wet glue both sides, I think, this time. Thankfully, these are so small that it shouldn't matter too much, the fact I'm having to do it on top of my pattern paper. But yeah, anyway, let's redo this again. So just in case you missed me putting the tabs on the first time round, you get to see it again this time round. So that goes on like that. Um... This goes on like this. Yes, Sparkly Lady, it's one of them, isn't it? It's so annoying when it happens, but, you know, if it's in the quietness of your own craft, room, it doesn't matter. But when you've got a whole lot of people watching you, <laughs> it's, it's a bit annoying. But there we go. It just shows that I have problems too. I make mistakes as well. Quite often, in fact. Quite often. Right, let's try again here. So now I've got, I've actually got a, uh, that's better. I just need to make sure it definitely clears um, here. Is that on? Yeah, that's on. Right, let me just stick that down. Um, thank you, Robin. You missed the first part. Okay, that's not a problem. Um, as I said, you can always watch this one back and I will be doing, there's a tutorial going up on Friday for this as well. I need to let that dry a little bit before I start moving that around, otherwise it's going to disagree with me. Right, while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and make the belly band. So let me just fold this down like that. And I'm going to cut, now this is going to be interesting because this is actually six inches long. Um, hi, are we at 6.35 in New York? You can't wait to go down to your craft room to give this card a go. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm sure you'll have fun. I'm sure you'll have fun with it. Right, now I'm going to need an A3 piece of card because a 12 by 12 uh, is pushing it. Thankfully, I have some A3 card because I went to the craft show on uh, Saturday and... This is actually from Lime Tree Crafts, and I bought this years ago. So this was actually from years ago, but I did buy some more A3. So I'm just going to cut an A3 piece. Uh, actually, no, I can't do that, can I? Because I can't cut it. Her. Um, right, let me think. I'm going to have to, uh, I think I'm going to have to just use a 12 by 12 then, because I can't cut my A3 in my trimmer. Because my trimmer only goes up to a 12 by 12, my guillotine. So best laid plans of mice and men. That's not going to work. So let's 
do a I show I haven't got a strip of card. Oh actually have I? Let me have a look. Let me have a look and see if I've got a piece of off cut card that I can use that is long enough. No, I don't think I do. Right. See all the rustling in the background. Just gonna grab a piece of 12 by 12. She says looking desperately for her 12 by 12. Um Oh, I had another 12 by 12. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's the one. Oh, there we go. That's what I need. That's what I need. Craft UK. I love Craft UK. Um, right, where are we up to? Uh, Edwina. Yes, I think we all do it, don't we? <laughs> I think we all do this sort of thing all the time. Right, that's not going to be wide enough for a band. So let me use my new pack. Right into my new pack. Um, actually, I should probably use pink, shouldn't I? Let me use pink. Oh dear, I've got packs of paper all over the floor now. Let me use this. Who else have we got? Um, uh, yes, Rita. This I think this would work really well. It's, it's just a nice card, to be honest with you. It's nice and easy. Right. For anybody wondering what this paper is, this is the paper pack. It's Craft Sensations. It's from years ago. I don't think they'll do it. They might do. But I like it because it's double sided, so you have plain on one side and then a pattern on the other. Um, but it's only 200 GSM? 230? Oh, it's 230. I thought it was only 200. 230 GSM, but it's a nice pad. I don't know if I still do it. I'm, I might do. I don't know. Um, thank you, Sally. Yeah, you missed me on Saturday. I know. Um, you see, I left just before 11, so that's probably why we just we literally just passed each, probably passed each other in the car, probably. Um, yeah, it was good. I actually bought loads of card, and you'll see it. You'll see what I bought soon because I'm doing a craft haul video again with the tutorial because I think that's probably best. Um, so yeah, uh, yes, Shirley. I need to tidy up my craft room. It is looking like a bomb has gone off. Um, I need to tidy it up, but it's having time to tidy it up. This is the problem. Right, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the red side, I think, because it kind of works with the um, the poncettia. I'm not going to pre-score it. I'm going to just kind of lay it on and fold it round. Because that way I know how big it needs to be for the bulk of the card. There will be a gap in the middle, I think, because of it being a 12-12. Yeah, there is a gap. That's fine. We can just add a little bit extra on. I don't want to do it too snug. It needs to come off. Right, I'm going to add a little bridge part on there. And I think I'm going to um, I'm just going to cut another little bit. Just to have like a little, a little bridge. It's going to be covered up, but just, just so that I know it's definitely going to... Um, it's definitely going to... What's the word I'm looking for? It's definitely going to fit. Right, that's like that, and then I want to do it about, how much do I want to go for? I reckon, I want to do a reasonable, about an inch and a half, I reckon. Inch and a half, sorry, mind my head, doing me. Just stick my head in the way there. We've got a nice close-up of the top of my head. Lucky you. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm all over the place today. Right, okay, so what we need to do is I'm going to put... Uh, a bit of red tape on um, on the edge of the belly band, just there, like that, and on the edge of this side. Not a big fan of belly bands, but because of my poncettia, I was going to have my poncettia similar to how I did the Christmas tree, but then it didn't work out that way. So there we go. Um, Oh, that's good, Louise. I'm glad you've managed to sort your craft room out. I really need to do this. I really need to sort out. This desk area has to be tidied by next week. I have to make this desk um, tidy because I'm, I'm there's something I'm, I'm getting in the post soon. I'm going to be showing everybody, um, all you guys, and I need to have a clear desk because there's no way I can show you what they're sending me 
what I'm being sent. I can't I can't do it if this desk is an absolute tip. So <laughs> I've got to tidy this desk up. Um, I need to anyway. I've been wanting to for a while, but I, I have to now. I have to. And I really want to have a, a tidy up because I also went and bought a whole load of card from Lime Tree Crafts. And I don't know if you saw, there was a guy right at the back of the hall and he was selling um, envelopes, paper packs of paper, uh, not paper, packs of card, like 300 GSM, good weights of card, for like £2 a pack. And there was like, I don't know, there's quite a few, um, you know, things in it, um, sheets in it. So, yeah, I've, I've bought a bit. I've bought three packs of A3 card from Lime Tree, um, some A4 card from Lime Tree Crafts and also from another place. I can't remember the name of it. It was right by the door as you went in on the left. Um, some Laminetta Miri card, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, oh, I can't do this. My tired fingers aren't working. Um, envelopes and cards. Again, they were two pounds. Pack of a hundred, I think it was. It was a lot, anyway. Uh, there was all sorts. I, I bought mainly card is what I bought. Cards and a few envelopes. Um, yeah. So I need to have a bit of a tidy up in my room and get a bit more organised. Right, that doesn't look very pretty, but it's fine because there's going to be a nice big poncettia stuck right on top of that. So here's my poncettia. Here's one I made earlier. So you'd never know. You'd never know. So that's going to go on there like that. Now I wasn't sure whether to have it. I'm not sure I might do it that way around. Yeah, let's do it that way around. So there's my poncettia. Can this come off? Yes, it can come off. Cool. Right, I'm going to have to stick this on with silicone glue. Now, this means that I need to be super careful that I don't move it. I could stick it on with... I'm not sure how far down, actually. No, maybe I should use foam pads. I think... Oh, I've got silicone glue in the middle there. I think I might use foam pads, actually. Because I'm a bit worried that I'm going to come a cropper if I use silicon glue uh, I could do with some big foam pads and all I can see at the moment are the little ones the little ones the little ones okay we'll go with foam tape then fine that's fine right so let's get some foam tape and I'm probably going to need to layer this up. Let me just turn this over and see. Yes, yeah, so I could do with one big circle or one big square in the middle. So I'm just going to cut this off here. I'm hoping, I am very much hoping that, um, oh, can I just go one? Yeah, I should be able to just do it with one layer. I think that's I was going to have to layer it up. It looks like I'm going to get away with one layer. I'm just hoping it sticks, is what I was going to say. Because I had some foam pads. I don't know where, I can't remember which ones they were now. But they have dropped. <laughs> Everything that was stuck onto them dropped off. Right, stick this down. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Um, You could put a little you know greeting on the front and i probably could actually have done a you know like a an extra bit there but you know whatever so there you have it you could decorate more if you wanted to i'm gonna leave it there i think my tired brain is starting to wane let's be honest so yeah so that's the card so there's my little um poncettia well large poncettia on the front um this this is the die i'm talking about this was actually a again a coco as a studio die from August, they sent me in August. Oh, you bring my dies up. Uh, let me find it. Bear with a second while I find it. Here we go. It was like a nesting flower die. So this is the one here. These are the dies. So it was this large one at the bottom I used for this. I was going to use others, but um, I decided to stick with that on the bottom. And then this was a um, Ducrafts. Poncettia die from many years ago 
uh, but I really love it. It makes a really nice poncettia. And um, going back to that tree die, somebody else asked about the tree die um, when I was in the middle of doing something. So the tree die looks like that. So that's the tree die. Um, that's the tree die, like that. And then these are all the layers for the mats. I, re I really like it. Actually, I've got a few ideas for this die. Um, this is the background die that I got. Yeah, and then the little leaves that you can see poking out are from this set here. Again, cocorosastudio.com, and it's the little holly leaves. So, yeah, there you go. So that is that. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, don't forget to use my code if you do go across to Cocorosa Studio. I'll put all the information in the description below. And there's your little Christmas wishes for you. So, yeah, really pleased with that. Really nice card. I think it's uh, it's just, it's not as difficult. It, I mean, it takes a bit of time to stick everything down and cut all your layers out and whatever. But uh, it's definitely a wow card. And it's not that much effort, really, considering. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to leave another comment down below afterwards. Um, yeah. So there we go, people. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, and I will see you all next week, next Tuesday. I haven't decided yet what we're doing next Tuesday. Um, I will have a think. I've got a possible idea of one thing I might do. But, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, yeah, so thank you all for joining me. Um, I'm going to take you off the little stand now. And, oh, this is where everything goes a bit wonky. There we go. I'll give you a bit of a closer, a bit of a closer look at the... Uh, the old poncettia, there we go, a bit wobbly, but anyway. But yes, yeah, so I hope you all have a nice day, um, and I'll see you all next week. And don't forget to check out Friday's video. Okie dokie, everyone, bye, see ya. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> okay, see you all, bye.